a car company just dropped an audio plugin and collaborated with a pretty credible creator to give us something special. I'll show you around today. Plugin of the week is nothing short of amazing. I'll create gorgeous sounds out of a weird and cheap plugin. Grab the discount quick. The first huge release from the Native Instruments and Isotope merger is here. And today I'm testing out Arturia's granular effects plugin. Is it worth the hype? We'll find out. I've got a freebie and some deals for you today. Artists, storytellers, beat makers. This is Sanjay C News. This is the best plugin ever made by a car company. Well, probably because it's the only one. So why is a car company even getting into plugins? I mean, what's next? A Mercedes compressor? This is Movement by Kia. It's free and was made in collaboration with Arthur Jolie. This is not just a publicity stunt. In fact, there hasn't been too much press about it. Arthur Jolie, a Brazilian synth master, created two physical analog synths in Germany, and the digital version is the Movement Plugin. The Movement Plugin aims to combine nature, noise, and tone into an instrument. The results are sometimes just sound effects and other times musical tones, which makes it a bit confusing at times, but it's still fun to play around with. You can download Movement for free, the link is below. I mean, come on. It's time for a crazy and gorgeous plugin of the week. Every week I check out a plugin and give you an exclusive discount code for it. This week's plugin is weird and probably something you haven't tried yet. Listen to what it did to my piano. This is the Chain Reverb preset and I've mixed in the dry piano sound as well. You can switch up the chains. Or add the pillow in to kind of mute some of the tail. Right now I have the trip turned on, so it's automating the mono, stereo, and resonate controls here. If I turn it off, it's not gonna be having that much movement. Now check out the results with a stock Ableton guitar sound. This is so great for ambient music or film scores, right? Now check this out again with a synth sound. Now you can turn down the dry signal to just get the gong amp sound too. This is crazy. It makes me want to write a film score, so I actually put the piano along with some strings. Here's the code again. This is a great price for something weird, but really gorgeous. And hey, give me some feedback on the plugin of the week. What would you like to see next and get a discount on? Comment below. Remember when Native Instruments and Isotope joined forces in 2021? We all wondered what would come of it. Well, here's the first big thing. Complete 13 and the Isotope production suite in one. This is Isotope's full collection of effects plugins, including Ozone Advanced, Neutron Advanced, Nectar, RX, Neoverb, Vocal Synth, and more, along with the Complete 13 collection of instruments and their effects. You can choose any of the Complete 13 bundles and get the Isotope collection for just $100 more. Even on sale, the Isotope production suite is 400 bucks. So this is a great deal. The only thing that might hold you back is waiting for Complete 14. So far, there's no news on Complete 14, so this might be a good deal for you right now. I use Isotope plugins every day, and well, we all know Complete 13, don't we? If you want a tour of Complete 13 and a comparison of all the bundles, you can watch a video right here. Native Instruments has another great deal going on right now. 
you can get the complete select bundle with Native Instruments keyboards right now. And these are the entry level keyboards, which typically don't come with any of the complete 13 bundles. If you've been waiting to get one of these keyboards, now is an excellent time to buy it. Link to the deal is below. So if you've been following my Instagram, you may have seen that I've been working on the ultimate microphone comparison video, but there is one mic that I have not been able to get my hands on, but the stars may be aligning. I may have found the holy grail of all mics. Keep your fingers crossed, I'll keep you posted. Cubase 12 is out. The latest version of Cubase brings a bunch of new features, three of which caught my eye. First is native Apple Silicon support. Next is the end of the physical license dongle. Wow, took them long enough, right? Third is MIDI remote integration. This feature is kind of like what we're used to seeing on Ableton Live. It's the ability to select a MIDI device like a MIDI controller from a list and have Cubase automatically map the controls. Does anyone out there use Cubase? Leave a comment below if you do. All right, in deals this week, the mic and speakers that topped my comparison videos have dropped in price on Zounds and Sweetwater. You can get the JBL 305P studio monitors or the AKG P120 mic for excellent discount prices. I'm not sure how long this price drop will last. Links are below. Vocal Finalizer is topping the charts on ADSR Sounds and is on sale for $29. And if you buy anything from ADSR Sounds right now, you get Kilohertz Slice E EQ for free. All right, Arturia just dropped another effects plugin. This plugin divides sounds into granular rhythms and glitches. Granular effects aren't new, but Arturia tried to make this one easy to use. You can choose between classic, rhythmic, and texture modes, giving you musical enhancements or chaos. Now, I usually steer towards the musical, and honestly, I was a little frustrated with the results at first with the sounds that I threw at it. But then I realized that it's much better with simple sounds, arpeggiating sounds, and things that are not too processed already. Most presets that Arturia has included can sound rhythmic and reminds me of creative delays and gate glitch effects I've heard in other plugins. There are additional built-in effects as well and ways to modulate different parameters pretty easily. It reminds me of modulating pigment style. Changing the gain release to rhythmic really puts things in a more musical motion. I think you really need to want to get experimental to get the most out of EFX fragments. And they've given you some pretty intuitive controls for that experimentation. However, I'm pretty sure I can get close to the same musical vibe by applying delay, reverb, and rhythmic gate effects instead. EFX fragments is available right now, and get this, you can get it free when you buy the Arturia FX collection for $2.99, or you can get it standalone for $99. Today we have an artist from Central America. Meet Druid HH. Druid is from Costa Rica. Druid created this track that you're listening to with Ableton Live using Drum Monkey and MIDI Wizard plugins. Druid also used some samples from the Jazzy Delic sound pack. Follow Druid on Instagram, YouTube, SoundCloud, and for those of you who would love to be featured one of these weeks, follow and tag Sanjay C, hashtag Sanjay C News so we can find your beat, and I would love to feature female producers for this Women's History Month. So keep the music coming. Okay, today's freebie comes from McDSP. It's a limited time freebie so grab it quickly. They're giving away the EC300 Echo Collection, a bunch of echo and chorus effects in a single plugin. You can get it by filling in the email signup form linked below. Of course, you can unsubscribe anytime. This collection is usually $79, so get it free instead. So many of you have bought my Rhodes Virtual Instrument and it was used by Tatro himself in a recent video. But did you know that you can easily create your own virtual instrument? I show you exactly how I created my Rhodes Virtual Instrument and how you can do it too. It's an 11 minute video that could launch a new career for you. Check it out here and keep making the music you love. And don't miss last week's news report where I ran the entire show using a brand new mic from Universal Audio. I'll see you later.